previously on Uongozi. You have been told one hour. Hakuna kasi ya bulu. Unaujua ni mtagani uyokuja? Ya chukumoja na itangarisha hii korokocha. Unaujua? Tulifikata kusoma lakini le mtu wa university anafanya juu. Haezi fanya bila sisi. Last week, Kezia Kiseu from Taita Taveta County and Elizabeth Duya from Lamu County were eliminated. The remaining contestants continue to battle it out to be the Kiongozi. The winner of Uongozi will get a six-month leadership prize which will include an all-expenses-paid trip to experience six leadership and governance institutes across four continents, Asia, Africa, Europe and North America. A total of 1.2 million shillings stipend over the six-month period and a 3 million shillings grant to implement a public project of their choice. The Uongozi show is presided over by three judges, Mumbi Kaigwa, Tom Boya and Mweni Lundi. From time to time, there will be a guest judge depending on the task. Welcome back contestants. And, as is the norm, the contestants are reshuffled into new teams. The Kenya Moja and Wazalendo teams will be transformed into political parties. Parties will be expected to prepare presentations on how to address two critical issues facing our country. The first issue is security, and the second issue is tribalism. Each party will elect or nominate the following officials. First, a party leader, Second, a campaign manager. Third, a cabinet secretary for security. And fourth, a cabinet secretary for national cohesion. Presentations will be made at a public rally tomorrow, where you will be expected to field questions from the public. At the end of the rally, the public will vote by secret ballot for the party of their choice based on the viability of the solutions you provide. Soon we will release you to your common rooms. Once there, you will be required to do three things. The first of those is to decide on a party symbol and slogan. Secondly, is to elect or nominate your party officials and third, to research and prepare your presentation. Following this task, any one of you could be going home. With that, you are now released to go back to your common rooms. Twendeni kazi viongozi. We are needed to start with a party leader. Uh, personally, I want to propose James Namoyon as uh, our party leader. Thank you very much, members, for this opportunity. Uh, I don't want to waste much time, but I want us to go one-on-one -on -one to tackle what is expected of us. So I, I propose Felipe to be our campaign manager, head on as our cabinet secretary in charge of security, and Adeline to be the National Cohesion <coughs> Cabinet Secretary. I, I, I've gladly taken the, the task I'm um, given as the Cabinet Secretary for Security. Thank you. Felipe? Waza Lendo quickly get organized and amicably assign the various roles with James being chosen the party leader. I also want to say thanks for the confidence you have, uh, you have in me and I'm taking the position. Thank you very much. Our team leader has to provide direction and you, see, you can see I, I always come up when it seems we don't agree. So as a leader, I should give away where the team has to go. Leo, Leo, Leo. I'd start off with liking to nominate myself for the party leader, if anyone has any objections. Uh, I also have an interest of being a party leader. Over at the Kenya Moja team, Eunice nominates herself party leader, but Joram is also interested in the position. Who will the team choose? Okay, 
for me, I'm second in Joram to be the party leader. Yeah, I also propose Joram for the party leader position. Okay, and uh, I can uh, propose for Eunice to take the campaign manager. Yeah, I, I second campaign manager unit. I second. I accept. Joram gets the vote of confidence from the team and Eunice has to settle for campaign manager. So there's a secretary of national cohesion and a secretary uh, for, for security. security. Yeah. So I guess line up that makes you a security. Okay. Are you okay with that? Okay. Yeah, okay. So everyone's happy with their positions? Yes. Yeah. As the team leader, I envision a person who is able to captivate the crowd. The crowd. Joram is so nice when it comes to Swahili. We are compared to Eunice. Leo, Leo, Leo. Activity number one. Having completed the first part of the task, the teams now must choose a party name, slogan, and symbol. Can we use it as Chama Chawazalendo, or we say Wazalendo Party, or we say just Wazalendo? That's what we want us to choose. Uh, party leader, I support. Uh, because uh, was a Lendo party and Chamata was a Lendo is the same. same, yeah. same thing. Let me begin with getting some proposals, Indio. Yes. Yeah, let me begin. Mimi, I can say our slogan is Amani Daima. Okay. Mine is uh, Amani na Maendeleo. A map of Kenya. And the slogan Amani Vilachuk. Yeah. Yeah, I feel like we should now use Amani Daima or Amani Sasa. Yeah. Amani Sasa. And then I'm proposing a symbol of a, a watch, a clock, something. Or even if you can see Amanda Daima, you can see 24 hours. 24 hours. Yeah, Daima. 24 7. You can see that. 24 7, we need Amanda Daima. 24 hours with that clock. Was Alendo once again easily reach an agreement? How about Kenya Moja? As uh, the slogan. Okay. I propose this Kusalamana Amani. May I take peace, love, and unity? Chairman, yes. our party leader, I have some reservations for that because, mm -hmm. okay, this is politics, okay? Mm -hmm. Our our name is Kenya Moja. Yes. And mostly when you are introducing this to the people, it's mm -hmm. like you say, Kenya Moja, and then the slogan comes, it should be so short and clear. Suppose you say, Kenya Moja, Usalama na Amani. Unity cannot exist in the presence of violence. So when we are talking of uh, security for me, Jami Moja, would really bring out the the, 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 the the three areas we are looking into. I'm going for my letter ad. Which one? Amani Benga Oyetu. Quick word. So Jami Moja, I'm in Jami Moja. Uh, Jami Nye Nye Amani. I'm following, I'm following that for that. So Jami Nye Nye Amani. Yeah. yeah. That's like that. Slogans and party symbols agreed upon, it was time to prepare for the rally. Uh, pass uh, the message as in uh, the party itself, what it stands for. You must also understand the content that um, uh, we have already agreed as the party, because uh, when you stand there and you introduce as the party leader, everybody will be looking at you. A campaign manager, when after striking the crowd, tell the crowd what the party is, explain the party what it is, and then after that, invite the cabinet secretary in the order, in Utona, in that order and then the party leader will come and finish last. Is that I okay? That, that, that will work That's for okay. us. Yeah. Ideally, the, the party leader being the face of the party should actually take the first platform to inspire and steer the public. To me, I believe it's anticlimactic because okay. you're building a, a climax leader. and then boom, the guy comes and he rallies up everyone and then everyone is really stirred up with emotion. But it's fine, let's do national cohesion, security, then you I start my You can do content, then we'll get back to that when yes. we have our time for, for, for that. Exactly. I'm talking about educating the people on the diversity of the people of this nation. So that when someone looks at the party leader, the secretary in charge of security, or the campaign manager, that person is looked at as a Kenyan, and not as a Kenyan from A, from B, from C. Are you saying, let's change the 844 system and put a subject about this, 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 like a defined actual solution? Okay. So when we... Please, just a no, moment. I just want to give you the problem. What will be the problem now? Is that ignorance? Yes, yes. 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 Meanwhile, Wazalendo continue to make progress as they thrash out their ideas. Our neighbor security of our neighbor is not, is not uh, reassured. 
So that's one of the causes of external external. Uh, mm -hmm. yeah. We can talk of sects uh, from our different uh, the illegal sects like uh, like the Al Shabab. I want to say tribal clashes because I believe that most of our politicians uh, they like rounding up their communities to defend their position, even if it's strong. Our security most of the time is normally compromised, and at that point in time, nobody is, insecure, is, in, is secure because you happen to be in the way. You, you. Your life is in danger, so I'm also trying to look at it from that point of view, not the, the end users. Okay, there's the end users part of it. I think you, you're talking about how these trucks get inside the country. It, uh, the way it, it is getting, it is illegal, yeah, but illegal. it is getting in. in, in the country. Can we say corruption within our security system? I want a promotion of intermarriages between different communities in the country. Yes, it's a long term. It's a long time thing that is going to solve the, yeah. the, the so we are going to encourage that. Back at Kenya Moja, disagreements abound. Will they be ready for the rally? So can you what do they have, bring, what bring they the have in mind if you say job creation and they have been talked to 10 years ago and above, when you say job creation, they know that to tap your card. So remove the word job, the term job creation and use something else. But again, that's not important because the speech writer, who is yourself, will put it how it, it sounds better. Right and now, it's a clash of strong personalities in Kenya Moja. We'll talk about it here. Excuse me, Galma. Uh, how would you want us to, to frame it? Uh, every individual to have an income generating activity mm -hmm. for, the, for, the, for, for himself or herself or as a family until you get that white collar job. But if you say job creation, I'm not agreeing with that totally. Mm -hmm. I think we should educate these people, tell them that, okay, there are, other, there are other types of males, of course they know them, but we should sensitize them and advocate for the cultivation of these crops. Also, um, um, you are right on that, but we should even have these, uh, like when there is short range, we should adapt these uh, type of maize called katumani, which it, it, it can go for a shorter period and we, you have your maize meal on your table. Having come up with the content, it was time for a simulation. Mimi ni kisimama hapa na shughulika na mambo ya uiano na maridhiano. Uiano kwa lugha nyingine ni mtengamano ile kukua pamoja. Kwa hivyo kama wizara ya mambo ya uiano na maridhiano tunaonelea tunaweza saidiana kwa njia moja ama nyingine manake And Felipe seems to be in his element. Sasa dada huyu alikuwa anaambiwa kwa kifupi kuwa Kenya ni jina inchi ni wewe ni wewe aswa hata tumwalike huyu jamaa handsome akuja hapa kidogo hakuna haja ya kutumia pesa nyingi kutumia pesa nyingi ambayo inatusaidia hapo Kenya kutumia huko ndani kwa nchi ya nchi zingine tutatumia hiyo pesa kuweka askari hapo kwa boda ili wale wale majambazi hawatapata nafasi ya kuingia ingia hapo hapo nchi wewe unzalendo wa Kenya and James who is usually quiet and reserved comes alive. Tunaimani kwamba ni mlinzi wako. Inanihusumisha sana wa Kenya. Na ndio sababu tunataka kuhakikisha kwamba una imani, unampenda huyo polisi na ataonekana kama mpi yako. Sasa hizi maybe comment uh, kwa mind yetu tunajua hatuna uh, crowd. So for me I, I don't as you believe quite tumepana the best. But I can assure you by tomorrow after we see the crowd itakuwa psych, itakuwa juu kabisa. We're here to motivate and to inspire you as Kenyans to believe what we believe. Kenya Moja finally got their act together and Eunice starts them off. Kisema Kenya Moja mnasema jamii yenye amani. Kenya Moja, jamii yenye amani. To tackle the problem, one of the strategies we are going to use as Kenya Moja is education. Joram shares his three-point strategy. For you regarding security, the number one message is love. The number two message is love, and number three message is love. Well, kama individual usichukue hatua mkononi mwako, hiyo si sheria yako. Tupendane na tufanye kila kitu venye inatakikana. Asante ni sana. Now, tomorrow, the way my team is, I've seen the result we had here. Guys are prepared. Coming up on Uongozi. Toll free line to my office as your secretary. Toll free line. And Kenyans must learn something here called family planning. 60, 63, 
97. Think you can tell who will be leaving the show tonight? Send us a text message to 6264 starting with the word rally and stand a chance to win an Uangozi gift pack. It's D-Day and the teams head to Moy Avenue Primary School where the rally will be happening. They are faced with the uphill task of convincing a crowd of over 300 Kenyans of voting age that they can be Kenya's newest leaders. Amani Daima! Wazalendo are first to face the crowd. Their moment of truth has arrived. Adan Mohamed uh, Abdullahi. And the cabinet secretary was security. Adeline Lusui, secretary, cabinet secretary, was national cohesion and integration. And after two and a Kiongozi Shupavu, one James Damron Lopeyok, the party leader. Now, me, me, hapa, the campaign manager, Saja Felipe Opio. Nataka ni mkaribishe Adan Mohamed uh, Abdullahi ili aweze kuja hapa na uweze kuambia wananchi ajenda yetu kuhusu maneno ya security. Wazalendo wae! Kenya ilikuwa nchi ya amani. Lakini vile mnavyojua majirani zetu hapa Somalia hawakuwa na serikali hiyo zaidi ya miaka 20. Hiyo ndiyo ilituletea mambo ya ugaidi. Sasa kama cabinet secretary wa security. Sisi tuleolelea tufunge mipaka zetu. Mipaka ambaye majirani zetu wanavita. Tutaongea na majirani zetu. Tukifanya disarmament. Wao wafanya disarmament upande yao. Sisi pia tufanya disarmament upande yetu. Ile tuwe na usalama katika boda. Ukiona mtu anaenda kuvuta bangi. Si ati hajipendi Yeye alikosa kitu la kupanya And Aiden, the cabinet secretary on security Makes a promise to the people Let's hope it's not a roadside declaration Sisi wenyewe Tutaweka Toll free line Toll free line to my office as your secretary Toll free line Sasa na wapatia eh, mama mpenda Kenya, cabinet secretary eh, wa national cohesion and integration, Adeline Lusui. Asante sana. And it was time for Hadling to face the voters. That was good. Leo ni naposimama hapa, nataka kuambia ni sisi, mimi na wewe ambao tuko na suluhisho la ukabila. Sio serikali, sio na ni mimi na wewe. Kwa hivyo sisi, Hatutakuwa wale wakukaa chini na kungoja mtu waje yafanye. Tutafanya wenyewe. Tafadhali toa ripoti. Mahali popote kwa lida yoyote, kwa mkubwa yoyote ambayo kwa karibu na wewe. Ukihisi kwa mba kuna isia za uchochezi. Wasalendo hoye! And now, will the real James Namuron please stand up? Asante sana. Viongozi wetu, wengi tulionao hivi sasa. Hivyo ndivyo wanavyo tudanganya. Wanaenesa chuki Pamba tasama kabila letu limeachwa Tasama kabila letu limetengwa Eneo letu limetengwa Na anavyo sema hivyo Nia yake kubwa Ni kuchukua eh, Masikio yako Ili we uwese kumsikiza Na bila shaka kumpigia kura Lakini Ana agenda Sinaso leta kuunganisha Inji yetu ya Kenya Tafadhalini sana Mtupe na fasi ya kuwaongoza Na mtupe na fasi ya kutawala nchi yetu pamoja na wewe Ujipatia na fasi ya kujitawala kwa kujitipikia kura Mungu wa bariki sana Wazalendo oye Oye Wazalendo mpo With the speeches over, it was time to hear from the voters Were they buying Wazalendo's manifesto? Miaka amsini Zimepita 
na tumekuwa na vikundi za vijana huku mtaani mnawatumia baadaye mna tulaumu vijana ili swala tutalitatua aje ulikuwa unalia katika kaunti unatoka ti serikali na disamu vijana na hii unakumbuka ya kwamba hii ni Kenya na hii ile ni Somali kwa hivyo unajaribu kualalisha vijana wawe na vyombo vya kutadharisha maisha ya watu kwa sababu nchi nyingine wako na hizo silaha kwa hivyo mimi ninasema hivi kwa wazalendo kupitia kwako kura yangu hauipati we can't condone illegal groupings na kuomba mwenye alisema nimepoteza kura na kuomba nita kuhakikishia ya kwamba tutaweka buffer zone na askari wetu ambaye wako na vifaa vya kimataifa ambaye watalinda wa Kenya wenzetu nasemaje ndio tupalize huu maneno kabila Kenya do you believe that Kenyans wanafaa stop kufundisha watoto wao about kabila about kabila kabila yao hauwezi kosa kumfunza mtoto wako culture lazima mtoto ameaelewe kwetu huwa tunavaa hivi ama tunafanya hivi swali ni kwamba tuona kabila sector is kuzi wako na wako na security so Tunataka kujua yeye atafanyaje apunguze hiyo security ya mtu mmoja kwa na security ya watu 20 yet Kenyans hawana security mimi sina security ya mtu hata mmoja mimi ni wewe na sina taf, sina tofauti na wewe na sihitaji bodyguard kukua na wewe ndio nilisema ukwena toll free line ambao mimi mwenyewe nitashika kama cabinet secretary Tushangilie Kenya taifa letu Tumbuke na mfuatie kura zenu ili tuweze kushinda na tutengeleze and in true Kenyan political style a rally is not a rally without the dance Tumekomba Kenya leo leo We as Kenya Moja are very grateful for your presence here today We are a new party in the political arena but new is good New means change. Gone are the days. And campaign manager Eunice kicks off the Kenya Moja campaign but soon encounters a problem. Thank you. After this, the floor will be open. The floor will be open to you. Let me introduce the sec the secretary of the ministry of national cohesion mr solomon wanyama kenya moja vijana wenzangu wananchi wenzangu leo ningependa asanteni sana and solomon saved the day when he gave the crowd haki yao by speaking in swahili lakini hata hivyo humu nchini kuna wa Kenya ambao hawazungumzi Kiswahili. Na katiba yetu inaturuhusu pia kutumia lugha ya Kiingereza. Kwa hivyo naomba Rusenu niweze kuwaelezea swala hili la uhiano kwa lugha ambayo nyinyi kama vijana ambao mmepata kupata elimu mnaielewa na pia lugha ambayo wananchi ambao hawajotokea humu nchini lakini wanaishi pamoja nasi na tunastahili kuchangamana kwa umoja watapata kuielewa Having won the crowd over Solomon switched back to English Kenya moja We endeavor to start by planting the seed of harmony in the minds of our children And we shall do this by inculcating the message of peace the message of harmony and the message of love in the minds of our children Nataka kuauliza swali moja Mtu ametoka puani, ametoka Nyanza, ametoka North Eastern. Damu yake ikikatwa kuna to, yenye natoka black na yenye natoka green. When we have a problem, when we have a problem we go to youths. We say please donate for us blood. Do you know whom that blood is going to? Imagine your blood is running in my vein because you donated the blood. Then why should you hate me? Zainab seemed to be faring better than Eunice. And today as I stand here, I would like to start by mentioning that we stand for a co uh, coexistence as a family. When you talk of a family, you have people from different backgrounds. I want us to come from Central, come from Nyanza, come from Rift Valley, come from all over. It was time for Joram, the party leader, to take it home. Was he going to sway the crowd in Kenya Moda's favor? 
and we are taking this particular direction because we know Kenyans know exactly what they want and they know how to find it. Yay! The reason why people remember Christmas that it is 25th and it will never be postponed is because that is the day we eat very well. Yay! Today we must change the situation and say that we will live in feast, we will eat all we want 24-7, seven days in a week. And Kenyans must learn something here called family planning. My question is concerning insecurity in Kenya. Uh, and Zainab, you are not very clear with uh, insecurity in Kenya. What are your permanent plans, plans for us, for our security as Kenyans? So and it was question time. And it seems Zainab was not quite prepared. Sitting in front of that shop and eating that mirror and being convinced to go outside. Will not have time to go and do this thing. Okay, and I will allow my own brother to come and do that. But Joram was there to save the day. Because we are all aware that uh, we have issues with our borders, we have porous borders. We are going to lay every um, uh, machinery to ensure that our borders are sealed. The strategy number two is that we encourage all Kenyans to observe their neighbors so that you know whoever stays next to you. So that if you see any suspicious behaviors, you resp uh, report to the authority. I think my team connected with the crowd. At the beginning, we had uh, a little bit of uh, setbacks, but uh, we got a long way very well. That, uh, I think, was like 1% of our presentation. Then the 99% was perfect. Having heard from both Kenya Moja and Wazalendo, it was time to cast the ballot. Who would emerge victorious? very strong. But very, very strong. Wazalendo solution zao zilikuwa pamoja na vile watavyozitenda. Unlike to the other party walikuwa tu wanasema lakini wasemi vile watavyozikamilisha no kura yangu yenyewe specifically yenyewe naenda kwa Kenya moja a watu kuanzia tuna ile hivi energy yenye alianza nayo specifically kwa secretary general wao si jamaa ndio solomon ama ndio nani aliongelea issues zile hivi mostly ambazo ziwa gazi na tufesi sisi kama mayuts I love sana sana walizungumzia maneno na creativity na innovation na hasa kitu leo tafanya ni wa vote ni venye alisema story ya natashi za talent zina style watoi wakiwa wadogo tuanze kuna cha talent zao ndio akigrow anaweza kuwa dependent on themselves with the voting process finished it was time to count the votes to ensure transparency each party had a representative at the tallying center with Felipe for Wazalendo and Eunice for Kenya Moja. And the judges were the election observers. Kenya Moja. Wazalendo. Kenya Moja. Wazalendo. And the final one, Wazalendo. First, the votes for the two teams were separated, after which a count was done for each team, respectively starting with Wazalendo. 102. Sixty, sixty-three, ninety-seven, ninety-nine, a hundred and seventy. Leo, Leo, Leo. Tallying finished. It was time for the chief returning officer, Judge Tom, to announce the results. We have the results. I will begin first by telling you the number of total votes cast, which is two hundred and eighty-nine. Of those 289 votes cast, there were 17 spoiled votes. Wazalendo party received 100 
and two votes. Kenya Moja Party received 170 votes. The voters had spoken and Kenya Moja had Kenya won Party. the election. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> let me not start by making noise, but I feel so good. I feel, I, I think uh, this is a confirmation of uh, what uh, we, we were anticipating. And uh, my team gave it all, and it is out in the public. I think this crowd just voted like the Kenyan way, uh, whereby they fought, not as per what was said, but who said last. Coming up on Uongozi. Everybody did their best. Uh, I see we still have this narrative of people doing their best. Mm -hmm. Disarming our neighbors. How are you going to do that? Think you can tell who will be leaving the show tonight? Send us a text message to 6264 starting with the word rally and stand a chance to win an Uongozi gift pack. Welcome back contestants. I'd like to take this opportunity to congratulate Kenya Moja. This time you emerged as, as winners of the task. Well done. The next thing we would like to do is to invite the feedback first from the team leaders on how the respective teams perform. I think uh, the team performed well. Uh, everybody did to the best he could to make sure the task was, that, uh, that, uh, the, the task was complete. And um, I feel like uh, we did what we did and uh, it was the best. And I feel like we did something. We did something, although we never won. Uh, the general organization of my team worked for us. Our oratory capacity, or rather strength, worked for us. Everybody did their best. Uh, I see we still have this narrative of people doing their best. Mm -hmm. uh, but let's, <laughs> what let's, that best is, what we are yet to find is, out. Is, is something else. But it was time for the team members to evaluate members, their leaders. Starting with Kenya Moja on the performance of your leader. Durham was um, firm. And to my opinion, maybe a little too firm sometimes. Especially when the discussion got very heated between himself and Zainab, uh, he needed to be firm. He motivated, especially the crowd, and he kept them focused. And I think his contribution as a team leader may have earned us that victory. Our leader, James, was so inspiring. Uh, when we went to the pub public rally, I think maybe he got tensed up. If I was to rate my leader, I would still give him an uh, 70 and uh, 70 much of the 70 comes in when we were making our decisions in the common room i think i'd like to go back to kenya moja briefly uh, and eunice in particular uh, you were interested in the position of party leader how did you react to not getting that position um i mean i didn't take it personal first of all i think when they decided to pick on joram instead of me they were thinking of his um booming voice and or you know now apparent oratory skills so i didn't take it personally i mean i wanted to showcase that i wanted the, the position so at least they know that i had wanted the position but i didn't i didn't take their their voting for him um personally beyond the common room how did your team prepare for how did your party prepare for the rally beyond the common room joram proceeded to articulate his party strategy for the rally. We had an opportunity where you pick the points and you talk about and we are there listening. The next comes in, talks and the other one and then we do um, a, a sign off. How much more research, if any at all, did you carry out after you left the common room? After the common room we did not do research. So basically you just took the points that you had raised from the common room and those, is, those are what you went to we yeah, just again exactly just repeat discuss and extend I, I, I mean uh, just develop issues around the around the, the the points we had come up with at the situation as a group or as individuals as what? a group as a group yes okay let me just ask Zainab a question because you you were shaking your head uh, what, what do you have against research okay when we said that uh, we'll research about the security uh, the uh, final detail will be like a uh, everything that happens in Kenya but uh, all the provinces had different insecurities and when I said that point I was seconded by Eunice and I only suggested but it's the role and it's the work of the leader to say that is it. Oh, the, the, so you're saying you refuse to do a task? I didn't refuse. 
But that you're saying is what, that, that's what, what we're saying. Suggest Your suggestion was that you don't do that work. I suggested that... Uh, Zainab finds herself under the judge's microscope. It will give us a final detail. Uh, you, ha you had to prioritize. You had two key issues that had been identified for you, under which you knew you had only 15 minutes to talk or less, I think. How does food security come in here? We discussed about that. And our first point was violence and then uh, followed by food security. That's what I'm asking. How can that be second on your list in terms of issues of security in this country? These things interlock. Food security is which leads to insecurity in our country. How is it a priority? Please explain. I mean, of all the security all the, issues yes. that there are, Okay, I'm one thing, sure for example, from where I come, there. if there is no food and the kettles are dying, people go and uh, become bandits. What more research did you do to prepare for, your, for the rally as Cabinet Secretary for Security? Uh, I uh, came up with the violence and uh, we divided the violence as a group in uh, intra-ethnic and uh, inter-ethnic and uh, we came research, up with all the problems. Research, not what you did as a team. How much more did you as cabinet secretary prepare? On research in the common room, we didn't do any research. And also none Don't thereafter. Don't we? You I as cabinet secretary. I didn't, I didn't do any research. And it therefore showed in your presentation. Yeah. There was a disagreement between the two of you in the common room. At this point uh, in time, Galma came up and said that uh, job creation is a statement that has been used by almost every politician, and now we should use income generating activity. So he took me to the next level of defining what job creation is to her. Because in her understanding, job creation was providing uh, uh, white collar jobs to people. So I went ahead and told her that even uh, income generating activity is job creation. You spent more than the time allocated to you giving us solutions that are not practical. Okay, disarming our neighbors. How are you going to do that? Yeah, when I said we disarm uh, our neighbor, we said joint disarmament. Mm -hmm. We disarm our side, they disarm our side. When we disarm, Why haven't we, have we disarmed our side currently? Is our side disarmed? Yes, most of the, uh, there's disarmament always going on. But Has it worked? It never worked because the, the other side are not the same. They will infiltrate. Why hasn't the, for me, I'm trying to find a solution to yes. this. Yes. You're giving me things that. Okay, tell me how you're going to disarm uh, Somalia. Good. When I talk about Somalia, that's Somalia is not the only neighbor we have. That's an example you're using. Explain to me how you're going to disarm. Because you said that's what needs to happen. We need to disarm our neighbors. I'm using the example of Somalia. How are you going to disarm? You, Cabinet Secretary of Security. Yeah. When I talk about the Somalia, I, I, I'm, I'm very clear <laughs> when I talk about Somalia. We cannot disarm the other side, but we can put a buffer security. So and Judge Mweni is leaving no stone unturned and Aiden finds himself in a tight corner. How are you going to set up a buffer uh, around the Somali border, which is not one kilometer long? Explain to me why that kind of practical solution is not happening now, because we're saying that currently we, our government is being run by idiots who do not know that you can actually put a buffer zone? Yes, we, 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 yes, we can put the buffer zone. We will initiate a talk with the committee, and when the community feels the security are friendly, that That's when we can integrate the, the security and the community and protect our borders. When we got the feedback from your team members on your leadership, uh, to be quite honest, the response was lukewarm, uh, that you were very, very good and very strong in the common room, uh, but fell apart when you went to the ground. What happened? Okay. Next in line was he, James. Was he going to survive the, the judge's scathing wrath? In the common room, we are trying to actually make uh, those points we were to present very brief. And uh, we were just to present a few of them, apart from what we had discussed, because we, had, we only had 30 minutes in the common room. But there in the rally, we had some time to actually bring out these points well. Maybe what they're talking about is that emotion. Maybe I was very much emotional while in the common room, and in the field I was not so that, that, way, that, that emotions were not actually coming the way they were in the common room. How much research was done by your team after the common room? That there's no research that took place outside the, the common room. One of the things that I, you know, I'm seeing coming from both sides is something that I can only characterize as intellectual laziness. And it's a problem that we have in this country and that we've had for some time. You had the opportunity and the tools to do research in the common rooms. You had the opportunity to do this when you went home in the evening. 
And it's very clear from both teams that none of this happened. And for us as judges, we come away from this task disappointed. And with that, uh, we would like to ask you to now leave the situation room so that the judges can deliberate. Leo! Leo, Leo. After a heated session in the situation room, the judges now need to decide who to eliminate. In this particular task, mm -hmm. uh, you know, I think we all know that James is an intellectual, he's a, he's a thinker, mm. but uh, it seems that uh, he got to the field and he fell apart, mm. number one, and he just wasn't, doesn't seem to have been able to hold it together uh, for the team. That's true. We had made it very clear that the, that the party leader takes responsibility for the, assign, for the task it and ensuring the delivery of this task. It was in Just the like another task, but it, it was very, very clearly laid out, mm -hmm. especially in relation to the work that they needed to do beyond the common room. Mm -hmm. yeah, because right. when, you talked, when you used the word rigidity, then I just immediately thought about Eunice as well. And uh, that moment when she same. was talking to people and basically just shut them out of her... I mean, here she is as campaign manager, and you've locked out your constituents. I mean, mm -hmm. you've totally refused to talk to them, you've totally refused to respond to their demands. And she had her script and she yes, was going to stick and, to it. And she was going yes. to stick to uh -huh. it. Whether it might, and also, even for, 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 the, for the rest of her team members, I felt like she had also just locked them out. This is my script. And that's why I was asking whether she had shared what she was going to say with her team members. Because mm -hmm. it didn't link in with what they yes, were it talking didn't. about. But uh, basically he was not able to do that with this task. Zainab, uh, you know, I don't think really got it. I think it was about her province or county mm -hmm. and that was that you know the very small little focus, focus mm. and mm. frame mm. that she was going to use to uh, address the task mm -hmm. forgetting that you know the cabinet secretary is a national post yeah. mm. and you know refusing categorically to do things that she's been asked to do mm -hmm. just because I don't know is it that she didn't know how I don't I don't think that it is that she didn't know how because mm -hmm. in previous tasks she is the one who's on the computer yeah. who's looking up things yeah. I'm good with those two Okay. Seeing as we can't send thing. everyone home. I think they just need only because we can't send everybody home. Yes, only. And right. I think we need to tell them that because, oh, this was such a shoddy it job. It was a shocker. It was a... Leo! Leo, Leo. Welcome back, contestants. Before we conclude, I'd like to invite my colleagues to give their closing remarks. Arden, you cost the team this assignment. If, as a team, you had agreed that your party leader was supposed to answer some of the questions. Why did you go ahead and answer those questions? Why? James, that doesn't get you off the hook. You are party leader. From the moment of selection of officials, how do we start seeing you as a leader? You worked on stereotypes in selecting your officials, party officials. Uh, Eden, because Eden, because he comes from some place where there's insecurity. Uh, 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 Hardly because she she's a woman and therefore um, she's expected to speak softly about certain things. How do you do that as a leader? How do you make decisions based on stereotypes? That's what we are trying to move beyond. Eunice, I really believe that the choice of English is not a bad choice. But I also believe that you need to engage and connect with an audience. Fortunately, you had Solomon, and yet in the common room, both you and Zainab had no time for him. Zainab, I also feel that your inflexibility also cost your party, because this country needs you. It needs you working, it needs you working hard. Both teams failed on how. You were able to tell us what the problems are in Kenya. Everybody knows that. That's not news. James, you as party leader were responsible for the performance of your party. On that basis, you are the person going home today. There will be a second person going home this week. And that person is is Zainab. And it's James and Zainab who will be leaving us today. Being eliminated from the competition, I feel uh, maybe I've lost it, but uh, I'm grateful to the fire I've come from. I'm so happy about this, and I know at the end of the day, 
there was someone going home and I thought of myself, this is the best thing that has happened to me this day. Leo, Leo, Leo. Kenya Moja head to their common room to find out what their reward is. Next time on Uongozi. Mlami There are a couple of points which, in my opinion, remain a bit unclear. To continue this conversation, go to www.uongozi.co.ke or you can like our Facebook page Uongozi Kenya or follow us on Twitter at Uongozi254. Think you can tell who will be leaving the show tonight? Send us a text message to 6264 starting with the word rally and stand a chance to win an Uongozi gift pack.